Bill Clayton was saying that was an unintentional butt, and there is blood coming from the top of the forehead of Morris. That's right. There's the left hook. There Carl was Williams has taken that left hook better and better. And now Carl's a little wobbly. And there's another left hook. And Morrison's got a chance to finish him off. Bang. Morrison with the right hand. He's going to throw the left hook one more time after the break here. And Carl Williams is in trouble. And yep. Williams is looking for the referee to stop the fight. He doesn't know where he is. And Williams is already busted up. And Mills and Lane has it. stopped the fight. Another dramatic power punching comeback. Tommy Morrison. He did it against Joe Hip last year. He did it again tonight. And he's, as I said, he's going to be dangerous no matter who he fights, where he fights him. Always has a chance to get you out of there. And the crowd stands and cheers for both fighters. And Carl Williams sits down in Tommy Morrison's corner. He was sending a message to Mills Lane to stop the fight. Mills Lane got it a couple of punches later. That... Well, he's still a one-dimensional fighter. He is still utterly dependent on the left hook, and it is still the greatest left hook in the heavyweight divisions. Well, as they used to say a long time ago, he's a one-note fighter, but all Gala Kirchy could do was sing. She was a great opera star. Uh, he, ha he has that dynamism, and the way the fight unfolded, I think, was a big plus for Tommy Morris. He fought a guy who was ready, he was hurt by the guy, he stayed relaxed, and his conditioning was there, and as Gill noticed coming into that round, it looked like he had his second win. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look at the dramatic climax of this fight in slow motion. There's the first left hook, and that's the one that put Carl Williams on Queer Street. The look right uppercut did some damage too, Gil. And look at the strength of Tommy Morrison when he gets inside. Look at that vicious right uppercut and that big left hook again. How Williams took those, that punishment, I'll never tell you. So now that was two left hooks, and then the right and the left. And then in a moment, you're going to see Morrison step back and gather himself and get ready to come in and throw one more damaging left hook. That's the point at which Williams looked at Mills Lane as if to say, when are you going to stop it? Uh, now, here's regular speed, Gil. All right, let's take a look. And there's that big left hook. Again, we mentioned one left hook by Morrison can change anything around. And you can look, just look at the strength that he has on the inside. And again, he didn't look like a tired fighter right there, Jim. Gil, Tommy Morrison came in weighing. Oh, here he comes. He was getting ready to throw that last left hook there against a virtually defenseless Williams. That one was tough to watch. He came in weighing nearly 230 pounds. How many guys that big have you ever seen who are as quick with the left hook as Tommy Morrison? Well, you know, that's a, that, that is a good question. I mean, probably the only other guy I've seen is Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson's hook is not as short as Tommy Morrison's. Well, right now.